What up, everybody? It's your boy with the blast, aka Kev, back doing another reaction today. We're doing Tom McDonald fake woke. Uh, so first off, shout out again to all the pentaholics that have jumped onto the channel. You guys have exploded the channel. I mean, like my numbers been crazy. So shout out to y'all. Also shout out to all the OGs that's been with me since day one. Uh, we on the come up. So first off, to all the pentaholics, I think this is what y'all are called. I definitely have way more pentatonics coming, as well as some other stuff y'all have recommended, like Avi Kaplan's, more of his original songs, some of Kevin's songs by himself. Uh, and then like Home Free, I think is another one y'all recommended. I got a lot more of that stuff coming. But every now and then, well not every now and then, but I mean basically what my channel was built off of was doing rap reactions and stuff. And that's my one true love is rap and artist and lyrical people that can tell stories and music and stuff. Um, so I got a little bit of that today, but trust me, there's going to be more of y'all stuff as well. I'm going to try to have a pretty nice balance somewhere in the middle. Um, so yeah, today we're checking out Tom McDonald. So here we go. I think it's crazy I'm the one who they labeled as controversial and Cardi B is the role model for 12 year old girls. Mm. There's rappers pushing Xanax at the top of the billboard, but if I mention race in a song, I'm scared I'll get killed for it. It's mm. it's getting... He's already spitting facts out here. He's basically just talking about how the, the, the mainstream music industry is just ridiculous and what it says is good and who a role model is and stuff like the top of the billboard but if you I hear mention it. race in a song I'm scared you hear I'll get it. killed for it. it's backwards it's getting exponentially dumb it's more mm, difficult facts. to get a job than purchase a gun and then more difficult to get a job than to purchase a gun He's not lying though. Eventually dumb. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom. And now he mm. doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump. We're ashamed mm. to be American. You should probably love it. Because you have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public. As children mm. we're taught how to walk and talk. But the system wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel culture mm. runs the world now. The and when they don't want the masses to stand up. Like, hey, where's my phone? Speaking of, they don't want the masses to stand up. Talking about Reddit, Wall Street Bets, GameStop. Your boy's in there. I got my little 3.02. Where's my where's my game where's my GameStop? We in there, baby. 3.02 shares. I'll ride them to zero. Just to see some hedge fund managers cry a little bit. But they don't want the, they didn't like when the masses stood up when they started playing the game. And they started winning the game. They started blocking it. Yeah, there's been countless, countless accounts of this happening. That sounded weird together, but you know what I'm saying. He's been facts. But the system wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel culture runs the world now. The planet went crazy. Label everything we say is homophobic or racist. If you're mm. white, then you're privileged. Guilty by association. All our mm. childhood heroes got me too or the rapists. They never freed the slaves. Ooh. They realized that they don't need the change. They gave us tiny screens. We think we free because we can't see the cage. They knew that race war would be the game they need. Ooh. He said they never freed the slaves. They realized they don't need the chains or attached to the screens. We don't know we're in the cage. Oh my god. This man is spitting knowledge out here. Any screens we think we free because we can't see the cage. They knew that race wall would be the game they need to play for people to big teams. They use the media to feed the f What's that say? No quarantine? No quarter? No quarter? I don't know what that means. They knew that race war would be looking as I to play for people to big teams. They used the media to feed the flame. Facts. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about feelings. They know they won't tell me what to believe. In. Hard. They so fake woke. Say woke. Say so. Ooh. I love how high energy all of his courses are have been lately. It's kind of like he builds it up in the verse and then it just drops in the course and there's just so much like he's layering his vocals and he's got all the extra instruments and stuff. Good song composition. Good lyrics. Good topic. Banger. It's a banger. All these people screaming facts, but they fake woke. Hate their neighbor because he wears a mask or he stays home. Has mm. a daughter, but his favorite artist said he slays hoes. Picks her up from school, Ooh. music slaps on the way home. Censorship's an issue. He said, hey, this kind of applies to me because I have two daughters. He said, has a daughter, but his favorite artist says he slays hoes. I mean, my favorite artist is J. Cole, and he don't really do much of that, really. But, um, 
a lot of people out there like all these mainstream dudes just talking about zannies and depression and hoes artist said he slays hoes picks her up and he got they got daughters gonna be in that system censorship's an issue because they choose what they erase there's the back between hate speech and speech that you hate i Ooh. think black lives matter was the stupidest name when the system screwing everyone exactly the same i just Ooh. want to spend thanksgiving day with food in my family Ex. without being accused of celebrating native casualties we got so divided mm. it's black and white and political republicans are bigots libtards if you're liberal there's rights mm. in the streets and it's just Facts, dude. They get us so polarized. There's no middle. I've said this in so many videos. If you're on the right, nothing on the left can ever... You can't agree with anything. They're the enemy no matter what. And then vice versa. You're on the left, everyone on the right's the enemy. No middle ground. Nothing gets accomplished. Um, it's cool to see this whole Reddit thing, Wall Street Bets and Robin Hood, all this play out. Because we are seeing some unity now. I mean, like AOC and Ted Cruz agreed on something. As well as like Mark Cuban and some other people. Uh, Elon, you know, they don't really do their political stuff that much. But we did see two very opposite people agree on something. And it's cool to see some, some middle ground happening now. At least it's happening here. Hopefully it'll happen in more stuff. But yeah, you can't get trapped on one side. Because... I mean, there's extremes on both sides. You got to try to see the other point of view. You got to try to work together, make some progress. E we're not the enemy. Each other ain't the enemy. It's the one percent, bro, or the point oh oh one that rules the world secretly. Whatever conspiracy. Political Republicans are bigots, libtards. If you're liberal, there's riots in our streets, and it's just getting worse. Y'all screaming deep on the police. Y'all are genius for sure. They're underfunded already. They're way too busy to work. Mm. Order food and call the cops. See what reaches you first. Segregation so i've actually changed my position on this because initially so the whole defund the police movement i was with it because it is kind of like a left-leaning movement and i'm a left-leaning person so it made sense to me but then i saw a really good thing on uh, joe rogan's podcast with jocko willink talking about how they actually need more funding so they can get more training. There's going to be less people wanting to become a police officer now with everything going on. Um, I did see someone say they should start requiring four-year degrees. Uh, I don't know how I don't know how bad that would cut the available police because I do think they still definitely need a presence and they need people. They need boots on the ground, so to say. But I think there should be more requirements. Also, they said that after their initial physical, they basically it basically does not matter. Um, and that's true because my dad was a cop and he was like 300 pounds for the whole time I've known him. I mean, my whole life. So he was a cop for like 22 years and there's no way he's about to run and catch somebody. It's not going to happen. I mean, after that first physical in whatever the training's called, it just didn't matter after that. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of still in the middle about it. I think defending the police and putting it into different things is good. I think I saw Seattle defunded like 20 million dollars and made it into like homeless shelter homes or something like that like a complex um i think that's a good thing but it's probably also a bad thing because now they don't have as much budget to do training and other stuff they talked about uh we just need a, a whole other police system it just needs to be totally revamped i feel like Order food i don't know if defunding is just first Segregation the solution. Ended that, that was a bar itself. too. That was a strategy to make us think they were trying to help. They knew that racism was hot if they designed it to sell. We buy up every single box and divide us ourselves. Yeah, this is a banger. peace and wonder why it isn't working that's like sleeping Ooh. with a football team to try and be a virgin politicians are for sale and someone always makes the purchase but you and mm. i cannot afford it our democracy is worthless if a man has mental illness call him what was the first line i forgot the first line but it made so much sense use violence to get peace and wonder why it isn't working yep that's yep like yep using violence to get peace but then wondering why it's not working Bro, you just putting bad karma out into the world doing that. You got to use peace to get peace. You can't use violence. It ain't. It don't make no sense. Sleeping with a football team to try and be a virgin. Politicians are for sale, and someone always and then makes this, a purchase. But you and I cannot. And lobbyists, bro. It's crazy. Lobbying is even even in a, even a legal thing. It's ridiculous. It's even a legal. It's a job. People's whole job is to pay off Congress members to write laws for the companies they're employed by. Bro, what? 
Be a virgin. Christ. Politicians are for sale and someone always makes the purchase. But you and I cannot afford it. Our democracy is worthless. If a man has mental illness, call him crazy. Say it silently. When country's going crazy, we accept it as society. Get sick Ooh. and take a pill. When the side effects get you high, you get addicted like these rappers dying, fighting with sobriety. Censoring the facts turns our children into idiots. They claim mm. it's for our safety. I'll tell you what it really is. Removing uh -oh. information that empowers all the citizens. The truth doesn't damage points of view that are legitimate. They're trying to change mm. the men and women. How do we let them make praying a microaggression? Instead Ooh. of asking God for the strength to keep winning, we cheat to get ahead and then we ask him for forgiveness. Feminism used to be the most righteous of fights, but these days it feels like they secretly hate guys. I don't trust anyone mm. who bleeds for a week and don't die. I'm just kidding. But everything else that I said is right. Bro, that's a Lil Wayne bar. He said, uh, I forgot the mute I forgot the song, but it was off Carter or whatever. He said, Man, that's like the chorus too to that song, and I don't even remember what it was. Mama told me not to, yeah, it's like mama told me not to trust anybody that bleeds for a week and don't die or something like that. And then daddy told me not to trust, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a Wayne bar though. He got a point. I don't really keep up with the feminism movement. Hope I said that right. I'm bad with words sometimes. Um, I don't really keep up with their movement that much. So I, I'm not even really going to comment on what he said about it. Bleeds for a week and don't die. I'm just kidding. But everything else that I said is right. They so fake woke Facts don't care about feelings They know they won't Tell me what to believe in They so fake woke Same old safe zones They so fake woke Facts don't care about your feelings Video by Vanova, his girl She got some new music too I might actually react to her Because... I'm just super curious. Hey, banger. Like it. Gotta support the dude. I saw he was trending for a while. Um, once again, bro. Tom McDonald. I hear preaching, spitting facts, telling you what he's thinking. And I respect it. I'm here for it. Musically was good. Good flows. Good bars. Good topic. He's actually talking about something. It's making you think. Oh, what else do you need in a song? I couldn't ask for nothing else. Let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what else we should check out. I'll see y'all every day at 3 p.m. CST for a new reaction. Peace, love, happiness, and good vibes. See you next time, baby.